When on Mars, live as a Martian would, and in the case of curiosity, live on Mars time. And since Mars's day is just under 40 minutes longer than Earth's, that means adding the better part of your lunch break to each day. For the researchers working on curiosity, the change can be daunting, but ultimately rewarding. Well, you know, moving off of Mars time is, uh, uh, that, that's a thing that, that we work through uh, as a transition. And it doesn't hit you all at once. Uh, it's something that sort of creeps up and then one day you realize, hey, you know what, we're not, we're not rolling back into these shifts that will take us deep into the night again. So it's cyclical. We land and we're working late at night because we landed uh, late at night on Earth time. And then we start doing operations. And so, but you're living on adrenaline because it's so exciting. And that carries you through the first wave of, you know, two weeks of, of working late at night. And then you sort of come into the period of time where you've got a week or two uh, here on Earth to, to mingle with your family and friends. And then you start to work late again at night. And then it's, you know, the second time is, is tough, but not, you know, it's, it's tougher than it was the first time around because now you're into the hard business of doing science and maybe it's not going as fast as you'd like it to because we're turning instruments on and working through it. And then eventually you come back to Earth time again and now you're really excited about that. And then you go, you need to get one last shot. And so now you're really into the last time of, of, of late nights. Uh, but now what you've got going for you is you know it's the last time you're going to be doing this. So now that, that sort of picks you up. And, and then as you sort of roll back in Earth time, you realize that you've been through a lot. And the team's been through a lot. And, and people have done really well. And they've bonded together. And I think after 90 days, people have realized why you've done it. It's because you know the rover really well, uh, much better than if you had been do doing this remotely. And then you know each other better. People on the team have told me they've made friends and, and relationships with people they never met before in their life and they, they would have never probably have crossed paths with. But as a result of this activity, they're, they're kind of bonded together. And then as people begin to leave, they realize what happens when you go remote. It's much harder to, to keep the pulse of the rover. It's, it's much harder to keep the pulse of the team and, and to know how your role will play out and what you'll be able to contribute and how your knowledge goes on. And people tell me that they want to come back already. And they don't want to live on Mars time, but they want to, they want to be here where the action is. And so there's a lot of bittersweet feelings that are going on. People are happy to get home. They're happy to get back to what they were doing before. But they also really miss the intensity of it. And, and I know for me personally, I feel that as well. Uh, I love this this phase of the, of the MER mission, working on opportunity and spirit. And this time around, it was a little bit different because I was doing less science personally, and I, I was doing more kind of team management stuff. And uh, but it's still it, it's something that I feel bittersweet about. I'm happy to be done with it. I know I'm never going to do it again in my life. Uh, but you know, you realize the benefit of it when you go through doing it. It's it's not just important for bonding, it's also the way to operate the rover best. You get the most time to do it. You have the best chance to eliminate mistakes. Uh, you have the best time to understand how to optimize really complex plans that if you didn't have that opportunity, I'm pretty sure we wouldn't be doing the most optimized science mission. So, you know, in the end, it's totally worth it. Adding an hour to your workday may sound like a chore, but when you're working on Mars with sunlight at a premium, it's the best way to maximize your efforts. This is Rod Pyle for Space.com. Space.com.